The Jester's Privilege. Let's talk about it. So recently, I've been hearing a song in a band that's been going viral all over social media. I've been hearing it on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram. This song is everywhere. And the song that I want to talk about is called Mary on the Cross. And the band that wrote it is called Ghost. So anyway, let's talk about it. Now, when you first hear the song Mary on a Cross, it sounds like some wholesome, catchy Christian song. So yes, the song Mary on a Cross has been going absolutely viral. And the band has also gone absolutely viral as well. And uh, I'll show you some of the lyrics of the song. It starts out like this. We were speeding together down the dark avenues, but besides all the stardom, all we got was blues. And then, of course, the most catchy part that all people hear all over social media is this. You go down just like Holy Mary, Mariana, Mariana Cross. Not just another Bloody Mary, Mariana, Mariana Cross. If you choose to run away with me, I will tickle you internally, and I see nothing wrong with that. We were searching for reasons to play by the rules, but we quickly found it was just for fools. And after all, the sorrow will be riding high, and the truth of the matter is I'll never let you go. Just go down just like Holy Mary, Mariana, Mariana Cross. Just not another Bloody Mary, Mariana, Mariana Cross. So yeah, first and foremost, no, it's not a Christian song. Some people interpret the song to be about sex and drugs, which I believe those are the main themes of the song. But because of this song, the band has been going very viral recently, so let's talk about the band a little bit. The band is known as Ghost. Ghost, also formerly known as Ghost BC in the United States, is a Swedish rock band that was formed in Sweden in 2006. Their members include Tobias Forge, the main singer. He's the one who sings Mariana Cross. And the rest of the members are known as the Nameless Ghouls. And again, you see the main singer wearing this corpse makeup. It looks very clown jester-like. And the rest of his band members wear very black outfits and satanic-looking masks. Ghost is easily recognizable owing greatly to its eccentric onstage presence. Seven of the group's eight members, its nameless ghouls, wear virtually identical face-concealing costumes. Tobias Forge obscured his identity behind the character Papa Emeritus. The character, which consists of Forge in a prosthetic mask and makeup, can be described as somewhat of a demonic look. And this type of makeup is known as corpse makeup throughout the music industry. It was very popular during the heavy metal scene. So yeah, let's talk about some facts concerning the band. The satanic cult, religious imagery, and Satanism has forever been intertwined with heavy metal music. Genre pioneers Black Sabbath were masters of marrying the two. But Ghost takes the construct to the next level. Their stage set during live concert is dressed as a church. The idea is to present music as salvation, with a live show playing the role of a religious service. Then are the musicians, fronted by a satanic priest-like figure in papal regalia, who possesses a voice with an unexplicably enticing charm and vulnerability backed by a group of cardinals known as the Nameless Ghouls. Since the band's inception in 2006, Ghost has maintained a strictly anonymous existence. The various frontmen never gave interviews, instead press duties were handled by the Nameless Ghouls. These are likely to be Ghost mastermind Tobias Forge, who also portrayed each of the Papa characters, and is currently serving as Cardinal Copia. Forge was forced to give up his identity in 2017 when former bandmates sued him over royalties. His backing band retained their, their anonymous themes and maintained their mystery at record store signings by stamping their ascribed alchemic symbols for fire, water, air, earth, and ether. Prior to forming Ghost, Tobias Forge was in the death metal band Repungent and Sleaze metal band Crash Diet. In 2006, he came up with a riff that he described as probably the heaviest metal riff that has ever existed. To accompany it, he penned a chorus that haunted my dreams. The song developed into Stand By Him from Ghost's debut album, Opus Eponymous. But Forge knew that he couldn't carry off such a dark sound with his clean-cut looks. Instead, he created the concept and character of Ghost as a vehicle for his new musical project. Um, this fact is very interesting and coincidental. Forge's brother died the day Ghost came alive. Further to Stand By Him, Forge penned the track Prime Mover and Death Kennel and in 2008 entered a recording studio with former repugnant bandmate Gustav Landstrom to lay them down. These songs were later posted onto MySpace on March 12, 2010, and would attract immediate attention from record labels and managers wanting to sign the group. Little did Forge know that as he uploads the song, his brother Sebastian would succumb to heart disease later that same day. Forge looked up to his brother, who was 13 years older, and introduced him to many of the artists that would later influence Ghost. 
So yeah, very interesting coincidence. What you see is not necessarily what you get. Musically speaking though, Forge's main influence was the black metal of King Diamond and Merciful Fate. You might be surprised to hear a far more prominent pop and AOR influence in ghost music. Through genres as diverse as doom metal, hard rock, prog rock, arena rock, and psychedelic rock have been used to describe ghost. Their sound is rooted in black metal, with Forge adding that they are influenced by everything ranging from classic rock to extreme underground metal bands of the 80s to film score to grandeur of emotional harmonic music. So yeah, the themes of the band are very satanic. Their music also seems to have satanic themes. I'll give you one of their songs. This song's pretty creepy. It's called the song Ritual, and this is how the song starts out. Tonight we are summoned for a divine cause. Remembrance, no, but for their future loss. This chapel of ritual smells of dead human sacrifice from the altar. Bedouins and nomads carry through the times, through pestilence and famines, these ancient scrolls of rhymes. Our fallen angel vexed was banished from the sky. Recite now from the text and pray for all to die. This chapel of ritual smells of dead human sacrifice from the altar bed. Yeah, again, very weird, disturbing kind of lyrics. This band doesn't seem to hide their satanic themes. And for those of you who have been on my channel, I think you know why I wanted to talk about this band. Besides the fact that they're randomly going viral all over social media, especially their song, Mariana Cross. But I wanted to talk about the band's look. So again, just like many heavy metal bands and other musicians throughout the music industry, the main singer uses a makeup style known as corpse makeup. It was very popular in the 80s, 90s, and even now, a lot of musicians use this type of makeup. And I mean, this style is everywhere. It's used by Marilyn Manson, Alice Cooper, Hell Diamond. It's used by the Insane Clown Posse. It's used by the band Kiss. Of course, it's used by the band Ghost, the main singer. It was also used by the music video with Juice World and Young Thug called Bad Boys. In the background, you see these jester characters all over the place. It's used by the band The Addicts. The main singer also wears black and white jester-like makeup. So yeah, the common theme with this look is black and white makeup, black lipstick, black eyeshadow, a white pale face, and every singer or band that uses this style of makeup or this style of look. Their lyrics often have a satanic theme or themes about chaos, destruction, death. So it's very interesting that the style of makeup is used throughout the industry. And my views on why this makeup is used, looking at this from a biblical perspective and what I've learned so far, I believe that wicked spirits have a big influence in the music industry, especially musicians and bands and singers that use the style of makeup and theatrics, such as the band Ghost. And again, what I showed you is the tip of the iceberg. There's a bunch of more bands and singers like this, but it's just interesting how common this is. Now, as I mentioned on this channel before, people who take powerful psychedelics like DMT, ayahuasca, LSD, shrooms, and many other Many of them, if they break through, they encounter entities, and they encounter a bunch of different looking entities, but a common entity that people seem to witness on these psychedelic drugs time and time again is the jester entities, is the clown jester entities. Now, my view on who these entities are, I believe they are what the Bible calls spiritual wickedness in high places. These are disembodied spirits. These are demons. And I believe these wicked spirits influence the music industry and they promote spiritual wickedness in high places by using these musicians as puppets, using their songs and influence people because as I stated, music is very powerful. Nothing can influence the mind like one simple song can. And of course, the devil is known as the angel of music. That was the talent that God bestowed upon him. And of course, he uses this talent to promote worship back to him, back to spiritual wickedness in high places, back to promoting the doctrine of do what thou wilt. So yeah, I find it very interesting that, that often people experience these jester entities. The jester entities look the same, right? They have that black and white look, the black and white makeup, even the realm they're in. A lot of people describe, you know, for example, when taking DMT, they see black and white, they see black and white stripes, black and white checkerboard patterns, black and white Twin Peaks style zigzags all over the place. So it's very interesting that this is what people see. Again, I don't believe this is just a hallucination for one simple fact. You know, a lot of people dismiss these things as just hallucinations when people take psychedelics like, oh, they're just, you know, their brain are creating these images. But it does not explain shared hallucination. How do people see the same exact being doing the same exact thing, the same agenda, the same look, right? The black and white clown jester look. I think there's more to it, right? How many coincidences have to happen before it's mathematically impossible? 
Time and time again, people experience these beings doing these mind-expanding drugs, such as psychedelics, which the Bible forbids and calls it witchcraft and sorcery for a very good reason, because it opens you up to spirits. It opens up gateways into another realm, which the Bible says you shouldn't mess with for very good reasons. You know, I've seen it happen time and time again. An atheist who craves a spiritual experience takes psychedelics. All of a sudden, they're not an atheist anymore. They don't really believe in God, but they're not an atheist anymore. Now they believe in spirit guides, ascended masters. They have an ego death. They have no sense of identity. They believe that you're God, we're God, everything is God. And of course, a lot of these things are deceptions from these entities. So it's funny that these wicked spirits are present throughout the music industry, and you can see their realm of influence based on the style, the music, and the look that these bands and singers go for. It's like these spirits are indirectly telling you, hey, we're running the show. Like, I myself don't even trust tap water. But you got people out here who take psychedelics, and then all of a sudden, they put their trust into strange jester clown spirits that they encounter on psychedelics, and all of a sudden, they say to themselves, these are my spirit guides now. Yeah, very weird stuff. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think. If you'd like to support this channel, I do have a patron, and if you'd like to join, the link is in the bio. Again, I appreciate you guys for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Please like, share, and comment, and turn on post notifications for the next videos. Thank you so much for watching, and we are out till next time.